Hello, everybody. I got a bunch of questions on these SPIM 08 HPs, the 8 amp hour, 200 uh, amp rated cells from Alarm Hookup in, on, uh, on eBay. And I will put a link to all the stuff in this video, including the cell in the video description below. And I really love this cell, but regardless, the question I got uh, that is most common is how did I get the internal resistance value of this battery? Okay. Well, there's complicated ways to do it, you know, using calculus and all this other stuff. And, it, you know, it's complicated. Yes, it can be done manually with a meter, but I don't do it that way. I do it the easy way. I use my Turnigy AccuCell 6. This is the 80 watt 10 amp model here. It has an internal resistance uh, meter in it. So I use this thing, the ba this balance charger to do it. Now, um, this is available on Amazon for under 40 bucks, and I think it worth every penny, and uh, also on eBay as well. And I'll put a link to that in the video description below. So if you need a good balance charger and something to test the internal resistance on your battery, this is definitely one of those, uh, something worth investing in. Uh, also, understand that these balance chargers don't come with a power supply. You're going to need to supply your own power supply for these, usually at 12 to 18 volts, I believe. I'm using a, an Xbox uh, 360 uh, power supply to, to power this up and it works marvelously and I may you uh, make a video on how to create that power supply to run this uh, actual um, uh, balance charger but this is a Turnigy AccuCell 6 80 watt 10 amp model now it, it has a little brother uh, it's it's the same at Turnigy AccuCell 6 again but it is a 5 uh, 50 watt 6 amp model and it works just fine and it also has an internal resistance uh, uh, meter function to it so you know uh, it's it's cheaper and available again on Amazon and eBay and I will put links to that as well on the video in the video description below and it also needs an external power supply so uh, if you're gonna buy this um, understand that either one of these uh, needs an external power supply usually from 12 volts to 18 volts in in uh, capacity and the higher the amperage the better so um, to answer the question how I got this resistance uh, value I'm going to show you how, how I did that with the uh, balance charger it's very basic but there is one trick that if you don't do right you'll not get a consistent or the correct uh, milliohm uh, value for your your cell and then you know uh, then you'll be uh, basically working blind because the wrong value will tell you the wrong information and then you may discard a battery that may be perfectly good okay so I'll show you how to do that next so I'm going to show you what most people do to do an internal battery test uh, which is what most people would say is a common sense way of doing this uh, but unfortunately the incorrect way of doing it which I found out after a bit of uh, testing but uh, now first thing we're going to do is power up the AccuCell 6 we do that by connecting the XT60 uh, power lead here, connected to our power supply, and then you, you see that we are at the LiPo balance charge screen, which is the default screen. We're gonna hit the, the type stop button once. That gets us back to the battery program LiPo bat uh, area. Then we're gonna hit the status minus key again. Or no, again, but once. And you can see that now we're in battery memory. Once again, we're in system settings, and once again, we're in battery resistance, okay? So now the, the, the uh, balance charger is ready to do this test. So next I'm gonna show you how to physically connect it. So move that on up here, move the cell down here. Now most people are gonna do very basic. They're gonna take their uh, negative lead and I've got the uh, uh, basic charge lead and the uh, charge lead connected to the alligator clips, uh, which is standard. Uh, they're going to take their negative lead and connect it to the negative terminal of the of the cell like so then they're going to take the positive lead and connect it to the positive uh, terminal of the cell like well if I do this actually correctly it'd be a little easier let's go this way like this and like this there we go and now we're connected to the positive and the negative tab and you know that pretty common sense most people are going to do it that way that's cool so now we're going to hit the start on this okay and there you can see the 37 milli ohm value that we got on that uh, cell uh, not exactly great I wouldn't call that an awesome number uh, but uh, fortunately 
the way we just checked it was incorrect and I'll show you why. Here's what you need to do to do this the right way. Okay, what you need to do is connect these alligator clips in a reliable, solid way. They, they just, they're kind of weak connectors and they, they, they are adding a lot of resistance to this, to this equation. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to do that. And the way to do it is to connect the leads edge to edge, to edge wise. So let me zoom in on that. So you can see this happening. All right, there's the edge of the negative lead right there. And what I'm gonna do is take the clip and instead of connecting it the way most people would, which is like that, you know, top to bottom, is to connect it edge to edge. So we're gonna open up the alligator clip as far as it can go. And then we're gonna connect it to the edge of the connector, like so. So that's how we're gonna connect it edge to edge nice and tight to top to bottom okay and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so that the other side being the positive side so we're gonna do the same thing open it right up and connect it to the edge edge to edge like that okay and now we're gonna run this test again so um, let's make my negative a little better there we go and take our AccuCell here hit the button uh, actually, just go back one, the resistance, and then we go again. So, we get 5 milliohms this time. So, do you think 5 milliohms is a lot better than the previous, I think, 39 milliohm value? Oh, yeah. There's a huge difference. This is a very healthy battery. So, yeah, the trick is how you connect these uh, alligator clips to the edge of edge to edge on these tabs they need to have a really solid connection like so and like so right so you know uh you may want to run it a couple of times but uh, see if it's any difference the second time let's try it oh even better three milliohms this time so one more time just for kicks yeah so it's settled in at three milliohms. So you see how important getting good connection with those uh, alligator clips is. So yeah, that is the correct way to connect the uh, AccuCell Turnigy six, the Turnigy AccuCell six uh, balance charger for measuring internal resistance on the SPIM 08 HP eight amp hour uh, 200 amp cell. And I will be putting links for all this stuff in the video description below. And I may also make a video on my power supply for this unit, which is a Xbox 360 um, a power supply that I converted into a 12 volt uh, monster. That's it for my video on how to check internal resistance on the SPIM uh, 08HP 8 amp hour cell from uh, uh, alarm hookup on eBay. I'll put a link to that in the video description below for everybody. Um, yeah, and uh, using the Turnigy AccuCell 6 uh, as the internal uh, battery resistance uh, uh, tester. Now, um, again, in the video description below, if you want to buy one of these, I'll put the links to them. Uh, you know, I, I would say that the trick I showed you in, on this uh, video for this battery would probably apply to just about every battery. Make sure when you're testing for internal resistance that you got very solid connections or else you're not going to get a reliable number from your uh, battery tester okay or your balance charge charger all right that's it for my video if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a big favor click on the like button here in the bottom right hand corner and give me a thumbs up it helps my video it helps my channel and i greatly appreciate it also somewhere over here in the top uh, corner you'll see a picture of me that is a subscription link click on the subscription link to subscribe to my channel and uh, as part of that process you'll also see a bell icon there and that bell icon will be the notification uh, I, uh, bell icon if you click on that uh, you will be notified every time i put a new video up and then you can watch it at your own leisure once again and like always, I want to thank you for watching and for your time.